They are the images of everyday life, snapshots of a busy, sometimes lonely existence. But there's a difference. The images are not photos, but paintings. You can almost reach out and feel the dirt on his yeah. shoes. At this gallery in Pennsylvania, these words... I can't believe how realistic it looks. ...echo around the room, thanks to the exhibition from an artist known as the father of hyperrealism. What's the general reaction that you get from people when they look at it? Uh, usually astonishment. At a cramped and cluttered studio in New York, Dennis slowly paints, blows, and scratches his creations into existence. Detail, a steady hand, and time. Lots of time. So it's a matter of glazing dark over light. Only a handful of artists can achieve this result. How do you paint the shadow on a building, crush the words on a newspaper, an outline of office workers through a window? So this is probably an uneducated question, but why not just take a photo? Well, it's something that occurs to me every time I do one of these paintings. And that's because each one can be a three-month job. The critics say the perfection with the painting is the imperfection, that we're missing the point when there's so little difference between the canvas and this reality. Regardless, high on the future hit list, a building Australians know well. Oh, I'd love to. Um, I've always wanted to go to Australia. Denham Hitchcock, Nine News, Pennsylvania.